Welcome back everyone to more Resident Evil 3. In the last episode we managed to get into the stars office, found a couple of cool things and now cutscene. And we're about to play as uh, Jill again. I bet we're about to see like what happened while we were doing this. This is everything that happened. So I wonder, will we play as Carlos again? Because they mentioned the hospital. So I'm wondering, are we going to get to play as Carlos multiple times? Several minutes earlier. Okay, yeah, I, I thought so. I thought we would play her half. Find a way above ground. Okay, so this is the part, because I did hear they changed something about this one big time by cutting out one of the, the main locations. And we just went to the police station, and so it appears that the clock tower has been cut out. Carlos? Because... Because in the original, you were on that uh, trolley, like I was saying, and when that explodes, that is when the clock tower segment happens. But now, we're underground in a subway, so now it's, um, it's definitely different. The UBCS new weaponary notice. Good news. Lint Dix. Okay. I've got some new weapons weaponary for that guaranteed to put the brass back in your sacks they're called mind rounds these babies were developed by umbrellas military R&D and they will light your fires even hotter oh ow okay even hotter than the lover you left back home they're tough to find and tricky to handle but trust me they're worth it all right let's take a, a look at the specs all right let's look at the specs here what do we got? Okay, mine rounds are designed for standard issue grenade launchers. Don't get cute and try to load them in anything else. Uh, I was going to put them in my pistol, you know. Fire them at walls or the ground and they'll stay right where you put them. Oh, so they're like a, you can set them in certain areas? Is that what that means? The sensors on the mines will detect approaching enemies and detonate when they get within range. So basically just toss them in an empty Enemy's path, and you've got yourself a landmine. There's no sh uh, such thing as unfair when you're trying or taking on those giant freaks. So get out there and fight dirty. Okay, so we have like spe really special tools, especially when you consider like the time that this is supposed to be in the 90s, late 90s. Uh, y'all can stay dead if you want. Oh, God. See if I can do it. Ugh. Okay, um. Anything we need? Anything we need? Okay, these are just some sacks. Uh, oh, hi. Oh, God. Nope. No, no. There's too many in this one little area. I don't want to use my... Oh, whatever. You were not there. Uh, first aid. Can't 
in here. Okay, um... I mean, that's the clock tower there, is it not? So it didn't get cut out. Unless it's just teasing us its location. Okay, hello. Because this looks like it's the park. Green herb. I don't see anything else around here. Yeah, this looks like it's the park. Because I do know they cut out the giant worm fight that you have. They just completely got rid of that. Okay, red herb. So we can combine these two. So now we have at least one thing that would give me full health. Um, I don't see anything else I can use, so... I feel like a fight's about to break loose. I need to check around everywhere and make sure I'm not... Clock Tower brochure. brochure. St. Michael's Clock Tower. St. Michael's Clock Tower is a uh, barbecue style building or Baruch style building which stands at the heart of Raccoon City. It has become a beloved icon. The residents consider it to be embellic of the city's whole. St. Michael's Church eradic this tower in 1908 with the assistance of several philosophers I can't Philosophians, I can't say that word. I know what it is, but I can't say it. It was dedicated to the children born in the developing cities, and the first floor was used as an elementary school for many years. The city saw further growth during its electrifying electric oh electrification over the course of the early twentieth century, and the student body of Saint Michael's Elementary swelled to over six hundred students. Unfortunately, St. Michael's Elementary was shuttered in 1978 as the building began to show signs of age and where the clock was deactivated and structure limitations were placed on entry to the surrounding premises. Years passed with this once beloved monument and public plaza on uh, lockdown. But in the 1990s, the Umbrella Corporation worked in league with Mayor Michael Warren to renovate and reopen the area, this time with proper preservation efforts in place. The clock tower was officially reopened in 93, and today, and today the sound of its heavy tolling bells can once again be heard throughout Raccoon City. Okay, cool, I guess... Um, what are we doing? Nothing here, nothing there. Wait, was that? Oh, wait, yeah, this is where I came in. Okay, let's see what happens when we go up here. Because I'm, I'm basing stuff off of the original somewhat. I know it's a lot different. But I know that's a checkpoint. That's never good. Oh boy, that, yep. Carlos, we're spawned. Yeah, what's up? We didn't make it. The train derailed. Derailed? Was anyone hurt? Everybody's dead. Mihail, everybody. Wait, what? What is this? He's a fish monster now? What? What, he just goes in the water and becomes a fish monster? What the crap? What is this game? He's supposed to have like the tentacles and like what what is this? 
This just looks like third form or fourth form G virus Birkin. Okay, hi, welcome back. I had to cut out some of this because when I started this boss fight unexpectedly, I didn't have my grenade launcher, so I had to stop this fight and do everything over with Carlos from where we started with the whole getting that key and getting the battery for the detonator. I had to do all that over again because I have the grenade launcher and this is a freaking checkpoint in a boss fight. I don't know why they decided to do that. Usually they checkpoint you outside the boss fight where your item box is and the typewriter and all that is. So when you die, if you need to, you can prepare for it the next time. But they didn't do that. They just straight up checkpoint in the boss fight. If you got your grenade launcher, lucky you. If not, you're screwed. And I didn't have it, but now we got it. So let's do this the right way. Because they offer you shotgun shells as well, but the thing is, is I did not, I did not have a. No. Okay, we're out of that. That was quick. Also, those. Burn. I wonder if that's still doing damage. Okay, I need to find some supplies. Okay, what do we got? Oh god, he's right there. Okay, um... Green herb, that's nice. Just load up the shotgun. Come on, die. Boy, he's a stubborn. Oh God. Okay, so earlier Okay, he's gonna do that for a while. Oh hang on, let me combine these two. Oh, there's a red one. So combine that. Now I want to examine it. semi automatic What was that? I found something earlier about... I guess I didn't pick it up this time, but there was something about like being able to use rounds to like stick to things. I feel like this is one of those moments where I'm supposed to do that. Oh god, I'm in danger just from that? Oh come on, I just unpaused. You need to die. This is not Nemesis, dude. This is some freaking fish monster thing going on. Didn't I see a tank? I could have swore I saw like a tank I could shoot. Is that it? No. Where'd he go? Oh, he's up there. 
Okay. Now he's back down here. Come on, man. Just die. Good lord. Oh, not the knife, you idiot. Come on, Jill. I need to stop it in its tracks. But how? What happens if I... Oh, man, I could have swore I read something where you could, like... There was something about sticking a detonator or some crap. Mind rounds. Okay, this is what it is. It's the mind rounds. L1. So I gotta use the mind round. Oh my god! Chill out, Nemesis. Come on, get, get the flame rounds back in. Oh, whatever. I'm busy. Get off. I'm gonna kill you. Yes, I hope we do. Come on, just die. Just die. Put one right there. Just shoot him with a handgun. That's pretty much all I have to use now. Because I bet. I mean, it's still showing it as red. Okay, so he's going back up there. Got him. Oh, can't you just die already? I don't see any more ammo I could really realistically use. Hi. You mind not doing that and going away for like ever? Oh god. Bam! Come on, just die, just die. Oh god, he just ramjacked me. Hey, what? Rip off. Too hard to hit while it's moving. Can you please just die? I'm out of all my we got two more mine rounds. I'm officially screwed.
there's something in here. Oh, shotgun shells. Oh, I have a feeling I'm gonna die. Can I dodge it? Okay. Come on, just die. God. Ah, oh, just die. What does it take for you to die? Yes, okay, cutscene. This bit. Where'd you get these rounds, Jill? Where were, where were you hiding these from me? Where'd you get these rounds? I thought we had a connection here, Jill. I thought we were working as a team and you're hiding freaking grenade rounds. Let's make sure he's good and dead. I was going to stab him a couple times. That looks like William Birkin, dude. That is... They... They got lazy. Taking her to the hospital. Maybe Dr. Barr can save her. All right, I'll meet you there. <clears throat> you hang in there, super cop. I got you. Okay, so am I going to get a chance to save? Because that'd be awesome. Okay, so we're in the hospital scene instead of the clock tower. So it does seem we don't have a clock tower. Find it, Jill. I'm going to get you the vaccine. You're going to be okay. I promise. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and save right here. And I want to end this episode, finally, episode 11. I don't know how long this episode is going to be now since it's a two-part segment, but I want to go ahead and end it, or maybe it will, I don't know. This might be part 12 now. I'm not sure. I'll have to see what it becomes. But I want to end this episode regardless. And I will see you all in the next one. See you then.